Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to animate sprite sheets in Phaser 4. You'll see how to import, load, and play animation step by step. Let's get started. Step 1, import your sprite sheet into your project folder. Make sure your image is accessible by your Phaser project. Step 2, load your sprite sheet. In your scenes preload method, load your sprite sheet by using this.load.spritesheet. You need a nickname to reference it later. The path to your file and the frame dimensions. Frame width and height refer to the size of each individual frame, not the entire image. Step 3, add a sprite from the sprite sheet. In your phaser scene in your create method, use this.add.sprite. We need to provide a position for our game object and our nickname that we used when we loaded in our asset. First, we'll have our X position, then our Y position, and now the nickname we use when we loaded our file. Assign it to a variable so you can reference it later. Now for the fun part, creating animation objects. After we've loaded in our sprite sheet, we can use this.anims.create to create our animation object. And now we want to pass an object with our animation details. First, our key, which is the nickname for this animation. Our frame rate for how fast the animation will play. Repeat for the number of times we want our animation to repeat. If we want our animation to loop, we can pass in negative one. And then frames, which are the frames that make up this animation. Your frames are generated from your sprite sheet using this.anims.generateFrame numbers. For this method, we need to pass our nickname that we provided when we loaded in our sprite sheet. And then a configuration object that has the frames that make up our animation. So each frame in your sprite sheet is a single image. In JavaScript, our counting starts at zero. So for our animation, we'll have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now for our frames array, we can pass in those numbers. Now to play our animation, we reference our sprite, we use our play method, and now we pass in our nickname that we provided when we created our animation configuration. Now when we create our animation configuration, we have a few different ways we can tell Phaser about the frames we want to use. Besides specifying all of our frames, we can pass in our start and end frame for our animation. So if we want our animation to start at frame 0, and we want our animation to end at frame 7, this will result in the same animation being played. When our sprite sheet consists of only our one animation, we can omit our configuration altogether. And that's it. You successfully animated a sprite in Phaser 4. In upcoming videos, we'll cover more Phaser 4 topics. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up and drop a comment with any other topics you'd like to see covered next. If you want to support the channel and help me keep making tutorials, I've got a Ko-fi page. Link in the description. Every coffee helps. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more Phaser tutorials. See you next time.